people saying that, oh, you know, Doritos and chips and all these processed foods are, you know, they're talking about ultra processed like snacks and stuff causing mental health issues. Any comments on that? She's just shaking her head, folks. <laughs> yeah, no, my, my comment is just that it's wild to make that kind of claim. I mean, like Sarah mentioned, these are multifactorial, really complex disorders and diseases, and there's no singular root cause that, that causes any of them. And not only that, but you're, you know, like just what you just mentioned is so important from a clinical perspective, which is this, and this is what people who don't work clinically don't have access to, which is real people who are depressed just need to eat sometimes. Like behaviors get disrupted in depression. Some people lose their appetite completely. Some people overeat. Like we have to deal with trying to just on a basic level, sometimes help a person get nourished, mm -hmm. not exactly what their micronutrient profile is going to be or if they had olive oil today that doesn't make any sense so it there's really no good research that even supports that ultra processed foods significantly increases things like depression or things like anxiety disorders there's no good research that really supports that um so i i yeah I, i'm shaking my head because it's true it, it is all over social media and it has it's lacking it's completely lacking in support. And from a real clinical perspective, it's absurd because once you actually start working with people who are really depressed, then you really have insight into what is necessary you know, to help people.